the Olympic Games. Sir, with the world so interconnected and our lives completely changed with, with, with the internet and digitalization, almost all electronic items can be remotely accessed and controlled. Our transport system, our financial system, our security systems, our power plants and many more. It is a perfect cyber storm building. Imagine all our traffic lights control go haywire. With multiple accidents on the road, our road becomes grid jam, lock, uh, grid, grid jam, grid lock jam. Airplanes above our heads can become weapons of mass destruction like a 911 scenario. Our stock market and financial systems can be brought to a complete halt with all electronic transactions going astray. Our communication device could be hacked and paralyzing the entire country, making any rescue and recovery services impossible. This is a doomsday scenario that we frequently see in a holiday, Hollywood movie. Can this reality be real one day? We, we read about many incidents of cyber attacks and breaches of security and cyber espionage around the world. How prevalent are such attacks against Singapore and how vulnerable are we? What are we doing to protect Singapore from cyber attacks? In recent years, cyber attacks have grown to be a major security concern. In 2015, it was reported that hackers had successfully compromised the information system of energy companies leading to temporary creeping of Ukraine's power grid. Ukraine was again targeted in June 2017 with ransomware disrupting Ukraine's financial, energy and government sector. At home, our education government institutions are known to be hit by cyber attacks. Last year, our businesses, including several, including several shopping malls, were affected by Want to Cry Worm. Fortunately, Singapore was less affected by the Want to Cry Worm compared to other countries. From this example, it is clear that cyber-related threats us can, can severely affect and disrupt Singaporeans' way of life. My question to the Minister is how prevalent are such attacks, how vulnerable are we, and what is MINDEF doing to protect Singapore from cyber attacks?